channeling collectives versus channeling individuals. So I thought I'd make a quick video because I often talk about channeling collectives and part of the way I teach is about often connecting to collectives. So what do I mean by a collective? A collective is like, there is a collective consciousness to earth and so an individual would be me, you perhaps understand that, and so a collective, if we channeled the collective of earth, it would be like channeling the collective mind of every individual on earth all put together. We also have a collective consciousness that we can tap into. And so usually this more refers to collective civilizations such as the Pleiades or the Yael or the Syrians or Arcturus. So if we're talking about channeling the, the Pleiadian collective, we're talking about like every being in in a in a particular Pleiadian civ civilization is or perhaps in all Pleiadian civilizations like all the beings all the individual beings all the individual extraterrestrials like all together make up a group consciousness and because they are all telepathic they can communicate with us or we can communicate with them as a collective consciousness and they while we're not really aware of our collective consciousness or most of us like the Pleiadians are very aware of their collective consciousness and they're like it's kind of like if you imagine like they're like one planet in the Pleiades say say they put say because um, I think the Pleiadians refers to several planets uh, of consciousness but just imagine the Pleiadians were just on one planet you could imagine like all the beings on the planet contributing to a collective consciousness which is kind of like an energy field which surrounds the, the planet and contains all the information understood by the whole civilization and channeling in an individual Pleiadian would just be like like channeling me if I was a Pleiadian like, like I'm sure you understand so but also the individual would be collect, connected to the collective because they are a, a telepathic civilization so I just wanted to clear that up in case it's because I talk about this quite a bit and in the live course I'm running at a, I'm running at the moment quite a few people are saying they're having better results channeling individuals so so I I, I have kind of a, a gift a talent I guess for channeling collectives and um, while I do have an individual in the Yael that I connect to, often he kind of expresses as an expression of the collective and I seem to it's like kind of flip back and forth. Like, and like a part of what I do is um, I just seem to connect to collectives more than individuals. However, a lot of the students doing the live course with me at present are commenting that they're, they're not having so much luck connecting with the collectives but they're doing really well connecting with particular individuals and individuals are coming through. So that's really awesome. And so there is really no, no better or worse. I guess some have some advantages and some have, so like if you, if you like connect into a collective, you can more tune into general perspectives held by the civilizations. But I guess if you, if you want to learn more about like the day-to-day -day life of an individual and a civilization, it might be more beneficial to attempt to connect with an individual. And I think we kind of make pre we, we make arrangements before this incarnation as souls or like from a higher dimension of consciousness on a soul level to, to, to either connect with individuals or connect connect with collectives it's all part of our calling and our mission this is all kind of orchestrated from higher dimensions we're not just creating this and choosing this from the physical dimension so it's likely that some people are going to be more drawn to connect with collectives and some people are going to be more drawn to connect with individuals and it's a part of our calling our mission our life purpose our theme and our, our kind of who we are and what we come to bring to planet earth so there is no better or worse it just depends on what our mission is and what agreements we have in higher dimensions of consciousness or we could say what we chose to do before we incarnated in the physical body as part of our mission on earth so so yes yeah, so that's all i wanted to say like none is better or worse and but you will likely be drawn to one or the other perhaps more um, because of agreements you have in higher dimensions or pre-incarnation or whatever like I just said. So just go with the flow, everything is perfect in timing and uh, see you in the next lesson guys. Peace out, Shiva.